We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. Based off of the author is one way 
to help, you know, stop those stereotypes and, you know, just pay attention to the story or, you know, and it's okay, like, just because you're a female author doesn't mean that you have to be, like, the best, you know, yeah. female author of all time, but, you know, practicing more of the, the neutral mentality start. <laughs> yeah. right. okay. um, oh, I was just going to touch uh, base on, you know, like a, a lot of, in movies and stuff like that, you typically are going to have the, the male, you know, hero, be the star, you know, say the dance will just dress kind of thing. Um, but lately that, that is definitely changing, you know, and um, even going back to movies like Terminator with, you know, Sarah Connor, she didn't have to have a guy in the series, you know, she was very independent, she was capable and not, you know, like, oh, well, with me, I have to have a male counterpart. The male counterpart helped, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't make or break. So, it's a good case you have here. We have, uh, who all has seen Terminator, the first one, Terminator? Alright, good. Terminator 2? Alright, good. Terminator 3? I apologize if they have with the writer and director of that movie. I'll just stop there. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, like when you saw the, the dynamic between Reese and Sarah and Terminator 1, it wasn't like, you know, granted he would sit back and kind of protect Sarah, but it was because she did end up dying and he was just trying to stop that from happening. It wasn't because, oh, she's weak. I mean, you obviously saw how she acted. She was, she was tough. Uh, and even when he ended up, spoiler alert, and he ended up uh, giving his life to save her. Uh, it wasn't like she needed to, it just happened to be a situation where that was the option. It wasn't presented as he, he needed to do that, no, it was you know, for that situation. Now, in Terminator 2, when Arnold Schwarzenegger did it, because he was a robot, and that technically wasn't giving him a life to, to save something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys like have any questions about about like stereotypes? Or have, like, are you guys have any like specifically the females in the group? Like, do you guys run into different stereotypes in, in your works or your creative outlets or anything like that? Has anyone been judged for what they're reading? Like, oh, that's a guy book. Why is the girl reading that? Or subsequent the other way around? Lost Stars is actually marketed as a young adult uh, romance novel. And really? yes, it is. And it is like this thing. <laughs> and it's it's very, very, very good good book. So I mean I read that. I had no problem walking into the book and target reading that up. Is there anyone running anything like that? Is anyone now aware of a stereotype going like, on? Oh, oh you have one? Well I'm a Christian sci-fi one. Well, I'm not published, so I'm writing it. Um some people don't like that like like the Christian books. Oh wow! I don't know if everybody heard her. Um, she was saying that she's a Christian sci-fi writer, and people have been complaining about her characters being too tough. Um, that's a that's a that's a pretty valid point because sometimes people feel that the female in the books, you know, again need to be the, the weaker of the two and not the strong role or or things like that. So creating a character where it's just a strong female character, that's awesome. Don't it's your character first and foremost. It's your character. It's your story. Yeah. You know, it's your words, and you do what you want to do. But there's nothing wrong with having a strong female. I mean, that's just intimidation. You know, on, on their side, that's the security on their side of of that. Uh, I've actually read a I don't know if it was sci-fi, but it's called The Watchers, and I think the next one's called The Warriors. Um, and it's actually a Christian novel about this guy who's an assassin, and he's being recruited by this girl who has a special power. She can see visions from God. And uh, she ends up growing into a very strong character in that, and it's because she's she's like learning from the guy who's a hardened like criminal. He, he's not criminal. He's a hardened assassin. He was born and made his money in war. And she like one of the biggest kind of things to show people the capability that she like picks up on it again and again and again. And there are several times where she saves him because she you know she's just as strong. Now, I think it's pretty important to differentiate between when a character is written weekly or you know, stereotype again, and then also when that's a mechanic, <laughs> that's a mechanic of the story. Um, 
for instance, I don't remember the girl's name in that, in that particular book, but like her power was to see visions from God and to say, hey, something's going to happen while you're doing this mission. Watch out for these things. And that made her a very strong role, a very strong character. Then you've got a character like Princess Leia in any Star Wars. She just, you know, I'll get that, I'll get my hands to it. You know, that's the way she's written. And honestly, I think Luke is kind of. But it's just, and then there's some that are just like written. So, so they can't do anything. They literally are with They can't help themselves or anything like that. And that's the main character. I kind of see that as like a problem where everyone's just trying to save her. Does anyone watch anime here? Actually, Ooh. nobody else did. <laughs> Who watches fairy tale? No. All right. Who thinks? <laughs> Have you, have you watched the last three seasons? I guess you can watch like seven, eight, or six, seven, eight. Who thinks Lucy is kind of just getting like, all right, stop having not to save her all the time. So it's basically Lucy is this girl with this magic that sometimes it's just a key aspect to it, but she's always running into trouble and getting saved. And I think it's an overused plot. Like Lucy yeah. can do some damage, but not to always has to come with the power of friendship and save everybody. <laughs> now, friendship of fire, I guess the letters are probably fun. But, uh, like, Fairy Tale's great, but then there's some characters that you can just see that's like, she's done cool stuff before, and she's done incredibly powerful things. Why why is she being made this Kimmy Kang if she has to be made? Yeah. But, that's, but that's what it was. You know, people see, like, the reaction, and they like, oh, like, you know, hey, that was a good one, and then we're going to keep doing it, and then we're going to keep doing it, and I'm still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, sir? Yeah, like, um, you know, in Naruto, Sakura was always being saved, and now she's finally able to uh, defend herself, and she's like one of the legendary gods of Naruto. So that switched yeah. over to Chippen, right? Yeah. It took a whole series. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They finally got there. They got there. It is good to see that, that change is happening. Though. Like, we're on the advent of a lot of. Uh, the female change. You can see it's Marvel all over the place. Yeah. Um, and it's great. Some people have an issue with Black Widow. Uh, yeah, oh, why am I dropping light on that? Yeah, they're having, they're having an issue with her. But that's, like I said, that's a mechanic of her core. That's the core of her character is what she, is she uses her femininity to become strong. But she's also held her own in the fights. It's not like they're trying to say, oh, this is what women do. No, that's what Black Widow does. That's yeah, there's definitely a big difference between you know, categorizing everybody into that and then versus, as you said, the mechanics of the character. Because I mean, there's nothing wrong with having, you know, the male being the stronger, uh, you know, the stronger character. But there's also nothing wrong with having a strong female character. You know, like, it's okay if it, if it caters to the plot. Okay, well, you know, female needs rescuing or there is a weak woman that's female. As long as, again, like, it's not overdone. Like, <laughs> And because everybody has those moments, you know, male or female, you're going to have those moments where that person needs help or, you know, uplifting or, or being rescued or anything like that. I think of a, I don't know if anybody's ever watched Inuyasha, that you did, like, oh, my Inuyasha. But, like, Kagome, like, I used to get so frustrated with Kagome because it was constant, like, she Someone could, kills you back. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, can, you can be, like, this VA, like, you know, and, like, one shot wonder. But you're constantly getting trapped or kidnapped or whatever, and it has to be this huge moment where Kuniyasha like breaks free and saves you, and it's like, can we just not? Like, can we stop for a minute? <laughs> I would like to see an episode of Fairy Tale come out where, or maybe Kuniyasha, like, the magic goes to try and save her, and all of a sudden she's already saved herself. But, ah! Alright then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and by, and by the time I make you could you could add something else on the end of it, like, oh, now let's go find this guy together. But it's just. It's, I don't know, it's, like, why? Why do I do that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly, like exactly. So, who has a favorite strong female they have? Ooh. Okay, um, who jumped a lot to the side? I want to grab someone from over here, and <laughs> jump back over there, is that okay? Yeah, uh, ma'am, go ahead. In the back. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm not going to find you. Elaborate, I, I, well, see, can we elaborate on what, what, I have a small ass, what's fine, I have a small ass, what's fine, I have a small ass, I, I, I don't have the time to 
I'm trying to make it. just showed up this breakout man, and like everybody's looking at her, she's like, yeah, like, yeah. hardcore. I was doing like his, his wife make him watch it. She's like, she knows his name. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, the past season, like, she went bad and she went, it was awesome. Like, I'll spoil it, but I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, yeah. anime. That was, that was <laughs> pretty interesting anime that I watched. Yeah. 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 So there's a good point. Yeah. Okay. For America? Is that which one? Oh, here? Urza. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have, I have bad hearing. I used to work around big engines. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah! yeah! And uh, Urza is one of the strongest ones, because she's all in, you know, sorry, our friendship over time that, but what's up? Now, Ripley is failing. Yeah, that was, yeah! Oh, okay. Bam. Yeah. 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 Okay. Absolutely. We've got a whole video game after that. That, that was another thing I wanted to talk about. Like, there are also coming up in video games with very strong characters. You know what happened back in the back, back in the corner? Yeah, uh, two from Dark Matter, which is a series called Sci-Fi. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. Yeah, that's from the, uh, the Dark Matter series. Yeah, it's actually a series of Yeah, yeah, I, I like how they did, like, the, the reversal on that one. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, like, River Song from Doctor Who. Can I call oh. Doctor Who? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm good. You got yeah. a new shirt on. Oh, yeah, you're wearing a target yeah. dress. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, River Song is probably one of my personal favorites because she is such an active role in in the Doctor Who series. And majority of the time, she's coming in to be like, "Oh, hey, so if we don't do this, you know what I mean?" Like she actually is playing a key part in in the action, in the storyline, in saving the Doctor, or you know, participating in the way that the Doctor gets saved. Um, and also the one of those Doctor Who movies, those like the military based ones. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, the, the, she's actually a really good example because not only is she an extremely strong character as a female, she's a lizard woman, so we have interspecies, and she's a lesbian, which is, you know, the. the you everybody. Even yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that one character is a huge character, and you don't, I mean, you see her pretty often, but not, you know, in every, not in every episode, but, you know, you remember her. And you start to fall in love with her because she is so strong and she's so different, and she and she pretty much like immortalizes everything for women. Well, in my opinion, I'll just add that. That's very. It's not, uh, you know, <laughs> okay to go have relations with losers. I'm pretty sure that's still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay, I got one other question. Okay, okay. So I love Ray from Book of Women. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, what's your thought on her, like, the judgment on the internet for being married to? You know what that term means? Like, I'm married to, like, a woman that can do everything. Like, all she can shoot, she can fly. <laughs> like, I just feel like when it's a man that can do all that, they're like, oh, it's a man that can do all that. And then a woman that's like, that's a married to just really, really great. Yeah, but my biggest problem is like the male versus female is anytime you have a character except like even like with males you have a character that just like knows how to do everything and it's like if you don't have any background content right. for that that really gets it for me but yeah a lot of people you know don't don't think twice if it's a guy but then as soon as they see a female they're like oh no well well let's dissect this and how well, you should have been that's not how it works i'm just kidding yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly and so, a lifesaver 
anybody a question on the roll? He can fly and shoot. Take a shift. Well, he's <laughs>
you're just like, who are all these people? How come they know how to do all this? How come they have access to all these things? What are, these, what are they talking about? Now, in Star Wars Episode 7, you want to talk about people who uh, all of a sudden know how to do things? Great background was in farming giant starships for parts. You think she's not going to know how they work? Yeah. She, so she's just, what's up, Ben? Uh, <laughs> irregardless. <laughs> uh, yeah, but she it could very well be. We don't know. But still, she has a background in tearing apart ships, so she's going to know how to reverse engineer something. So her knowing how to fix a Falcon, or the Millennium Falcon, is not going to be too difficult. Sorry, why keep twenty one? Anyway, <laughs> uh, being able to fly it. Oh, oh. Yeah.
he, he pulls out this move where he like flips this guy over by pulling him like pretty much in between his legs from like a crouching position. It was it was crazy, but like so this character was taught these uh not taught, but he ended up having to learn these from a wife that she ended up describing and like on the run for a while. Uh so he learns all these, these moves and disarm somebody, uh, disable them, and then move on quickly. And he's done that for certain reasons that she'll explain the book of reasons it's really kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's like, but she didn't give an extensive knowledge. She just said, oh, yeah. I think there was something to pick that up. So at what point, as us as readers, do we say, we'll allow you to do that, we'll allow that to happen, you know? And by allow, I mean, I accept that this is. Right, like at what point is yeah, it? the reality. Is. Vague enough, but detailed enough to to have that balance. There's a few, as a writer, where you want to draw that line. Some people obviously can't handle Ray. Uh, some people can't handle Finn. You know, he's a stormtrooper. Why does he know how to fly? Why does he know how to use a, uh, a TIE fighter? Well, if you read it in the Star Wars books, they, that's part of their Imperial training, by the way. It's a lot of stuff. Another one. Do I have a question about? You know, something or something they would, they would like to see happen in the uh, future of writing for females and progress. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, there have been women writing science fiction and fantasy about strong women for the better part of a century. Mm-hmm. It is like past time to just accept it and move on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a lot of things. Now it is a past time. But okay, it's old. It's, it's okay. It doesn't hurt you to have one of these characters, a female, be a strong character. Yeah. Well, no, exactly. Don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, she wasn't. She had a husband back home. 
it was it was just really funny to see this guy who was not intentionally being sexist, but kind of just playing into it, and then get his butt kicked <laughs> by by this girl who's also like a foot and a half shorter than him. It was great to see it happen. So like. The, <laughs> And just, just because of the justice that comes involved with it. You know, Joshua yeah. was cool. They were both cool afterwards. It was just, we're just like, we didn't see that coming. It was like, exactly. That's, that's that always a beauty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Vince is great. She's, she's doing well in the military now. It's just, uh, it's, uh, I like to see everyone get their due, you know? Yeah, get, no, get, Everyone gets their day. So that was, that was one of my favorite situations. Yeah. <laughs> There are other ones we can't talk about. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> 